Hi Earth Science, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising of those cross-watching and welcome to your Tile Love Messages. We're going to take a look at the love predictions coming in for you for the next three to six months. These are general messages, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personalized tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video here. So let's give the cards a shuffle and see what messages are being predicted for you for the next three to six months from the time of this reading. Okay, you've got the chariot here. Queen of Swords. The King of Wands. Okay. Page of Cups. Four of Wands and the um, Four of Swords. Okay, the chariot. Um, you're going ahead with something here. There's, I am seeing progression. I'm seeing movement. This is also the universe... Um, the universe's way of green lighting something for you here. So for some of you, I'm seeing you're entering into a relationship or your relationship here is progressing to the next level here. Um, there's a lot of movement. For those of you that have experienced blockages in terms of your love life here, you're becoming unstuck. So I'm seeing forward movement. I'm seeing progression here. A lot of you are finally taking, you're taking back a sense of control. You're, t you're retaining your sense of independency. For those of you that have been in, in a relationship here and you feel like you lost your sense of individuality, you're reclaiming that. Okay, that's coming back here. You're coming into your own. Um, for others of you, I'm seeing that you're taking control here over um, your life. You're taking the wheel here. With the chariot as well, um, it's a journey. It's a journey and it's overcoming. Um, it's also an indication that you're overcoming obstacles. You're overcoming any challenges here. Um, you're being guided towards a destination. For those of you that have been pulled in different directions lately and for those of you that, you know, if you're uncertain... Um, in which direction you've been wanting to take things in. I'm seeing that you, you, the universe here is cosmos here. The universe is guiding you towards a destination. One that I feel like is like marked by the cosmic uh, forces. Some of you, I feel like for those of you that are in a relationship, the chariot is a reminder that you need to take action here. Okay, you need to take action. Um... Others of you, your your relationship is suffering. You, some of you, I feel like, need to hear this message because your relationship is suffering because I feel like you're focused too much because um, you're focused too much on your career. You're focused too much on um, other things and um, your relationship is suffering as a result of it. So you need to take back, um, you need to take control over your relationship. Okay, and you need to see the chariot with determination to where you want to take this connection, this relationship here. Because your relationship is suffering because you're focusing your direct your attention elsewhere, like putting in too long, uh, too long of hours at work. Um, yeah, the Queen of Swords. I'm seeing some of you. I feel like you're going to have some very um, important com um, conversations, communications here. I'm seeing with the Queen of um, Swords here, I feel like either someone here is reaching out to you, um, someone whom you haven't heard from in a while, or I feel like you're wanting to clear the air. You're wanting to clear the air and um, clear the energies with someone. So this is someone who I feel like, maybe this is you. You're the one that wants to reach out and communicate to someone. This is someone who I feel like who, who has, this person feels like they've been on your mind. You've been thinking about them or you've been thinking about communicating this per with this person for quite some time. I feel like you're finally going to connect with them. Strong air energy, he, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It could also be that you're, you're beginning, some of you, I feel like um, you're beginning to set boundaries here. I feel like there's a relationship in which you're involved in and you need to set boundaries. You need to set clear boundaries because this person is clear, clearly overstepping I'm seeing direct communication with the Queen of Swords. You're being a lot more to the point. I feel like there's a situation in which you feel like you don't want to waste your time with this person or you don't want to waste your time or their time. And therefore you're being very, it's coming across as blunt, but um, I might be
much rather say that it's very to the point. Okay, it's very to the point here. Um, there's also a situation, a romantic situation here, which I feel like you need to, um, in order for you to get a little bit more understanding of the situation, I feel like you need to try and understand it on an intellectual um, level. So try and make sense of it rather than um, try and feel the, you know, the emotions of it. Because the Queen of Swords here, she's um, ruled by air energy here. Okay, there's a situation which you need to get to the, you need to get to the matter of things. Um, and I'm seeing you're either not tolerating any myth, mistruths here, or you're not tolerating any fabrications of truths here. I feel like you need to get to the bottom of something, or there's a conversation here which needs to happen with, um, with someone here. You're telling it like it is here, is what I'm seeing. Um, or there's some confusion. You want, you're cutting through some noise, or you're cutting through some confusion, or you're clearing the air with someone. The communication here feels very direct, very honest, very, um, very truthful as well. I'm also seeing that someone here is going to offer. You, you might be, you, you might be the one that's offering this person clarity or advice, or someone here is offering you some advice when it comes to relationships. And I feel like it's really, this is really going to be successful, helpful advice. Um, with regards to romance and love for you king of wands as well i'm seeing that there's an energy here around you strong fire energy here or there is a relationship that i feel like is coming in for you and this is someone whom um sorry excuse me has a very strong attraction towards you i feel like there's a very strong sexual chemistry here this is someone um now he feels he or she feels like they feel a little bit older than you or that this person feels like this, this they are they are a connecting energy, they're in your immediate environment. So it could be someone at work, or it could be someone that you're already linked to. And I'm seeing that like I'm seeing emotions um, and the passion heightening here. So things are um I feel like things are becoming a lot more intense between you and a romantic connection here. Or there's someone, a new romantic energy here coming in towards you there's a very strong attraction between the two of you there's this strong gravitational pull here you're drawn to one another like moths to a flame now with the page of cups there is something quite novelesque about this card and i feel like for some of you um there there's going to be certain emotional experiences that might happen here for you in the next three to six months which which are going to feel almost fairy tale like so for some of you this could be really um like really um wonderful emotional uh emotional messages here coming in from a romantic energy connecting romantic energy it could be that you're manifesting here um a romantic energy it could be that you're um, you know you you enjoy and experience some wonderful um intimate dinner dates or some wonderful romantic gestures here that are intended for you something quite fairy tale or novelesque but i feel like will be very memorable it's a memory that you'll love revisiting um all over again it could also be that someone here might come back into the picture, okay, because of the four of wands. I feel like there's very much a reconciliation here or someone here coming back. It's sort of like a home uh, coming of some sort. And I feel like this energy comes back towards you. But the way in which everything happens, it's almost like novelesque. It feels like it's meant to be. It just feels like um, it's fated for you. This was fated um, to happen here. Now with the Page of Cups, um, it could also indicate that some of you, I feel like, are going to pursue um, a romantic interest with someone younger than yourself. Um, I don't see this lasting very long, because I feel like this is someone who's quite um, naive, or this is a bit of a dreamer-like energy. I don't see this um, going the distance here. Some of you also, I feel like um, you're going to have this new approach to love. It's almost like childlike fascination about romance and potentially um, new potential partners. Um, it just feels like very novel to you. That's what it feels like. The four of ones, I did say, I, see, um, I feel like you're coming back with someone here. For, for a lot of you, I'm seeing that there is someone here who comes back into the picture 
or you're the one that's reaching out and you're coming back into someone's life. So the two of you are connecting. This is someone who I feel like has been a close uh, connecting energy and I feel like the two of you have always been sort of around each other, one another. You've been in uh, like a constant presence in each other's life, but I feel like something here is finally happening. Um, now, this feels strange in a sense that for some of you, I feel like you are coming together. Some of you, I feel like you're... Because I see some of you are developing plans for the future, so I feel like it's very likely that this connection could result in an engagement, a wedding, or a marriage further down. For some of you, it's very likely that within the next three to six months, um, there could be you could be planning a wedding, an engagement, or a marriage. It could be yours, or it could be a very close connecting energy here, or it could be that someone here, someone you're closely connected to, comes back into the picture, um, and you'll find news, or you'll discover news that this person is... Um, getting engaged or getting married here. I'm not sure how some of you might feel about this. For, for some of you, might not go down all too well. For others of you, um, you're happy for them. It's, it's someone who I feel like is closely connected. You're happy for them here. There's some sort of, yeah, there's some sort of social gatherings or celebrations. For those of you that are single, it's very likely you might meet someone um, at such an uh, event. So you're meeting someone new, or you could be reconnecting with a past energy here who will also be in attendance at some sort of social gathering, some sort of celebration. Could be a work function, um, could be a wedding, an engagement, a christening, uh, a baptism of some sort here. Some of you, I feel like you're moving in together here. You're going to be moving in together with a romantic interest here. It's going to happen very quickly here. It doesn't feel rushed, but I just feel like there's a readiness on your part and their part as well. The Four of Swords here, um, some of you need to take some time out. You need a break. You need a break from someone here or you need to give, or, I feel like there's some time and some space and some distance needs to be wedged between you and someone or you need to give yourself some time and space to heal a situation, to think about something, to reflect something. Some of you, I feel like, um, I don't think you're ready for a relationship purely because I feel like some of you you still need some healing or some hurting to do okay there's some um something here that you need to heal or a wound that needs to heal because it's still festering um you need to i feel like you need to take some time out or some of you i feel like your energy just feels like it's exhausted uh, maybe you've been doing too much and um, you need to maybe you've been giving too much attention here you know um too much attention, too much focus on relationships here that you haven't had a lot of time for yourself here. So I'm seeing that it's very important that you take some time out for yourself or you give someone here some time and some space. Someone who isn't communicating with you, um, don't panic because this person is going to reach out when he or she is ready. I just feel like this person is a little bit burdened right now with some sort of stress or some sort of obligation. So let them be. They need some time. They need some space here. They'll connect with you when they're ready to talk. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thank you for watching, listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, sharing, commenting. I will be sharing with you more um, messages, more tarot love messages um, throughout the week. Thanks, guys, again. Bye for now.